What's up guys, it's Jim from NEPAPizzareview.com and I'm here with another taste test. This one's not exactly pizza related. Um, Old Bay uh, hot sauce came out. I've seen it on social media and I've seen some mixed reactions to it. Uh, somebody told me it wasn't you know, their favorite thing, but a, a very credible friend of mine said it was awesome. Uh, so I thought I would try it for myself rather than relying on information for everyone else. And I devised three quick tests on how to do it. Uh, first, we're going to try it on pizza because this is a pizza channel and we need to have a pizza tie-in here. Uh, then we're going to do the cracker test to sort of eliminate uh, any variables. And, it, and we're also going to try it just straight up um, just to see what it's all about. Now, I'm a huge Old Bay fan, uh, particularly like Krabby Fries, love those. Uh, Old Bay on shrimp, any seafood, I use it a lot in my cooking. And uh, also, I see this is made by McCormick. I'm a massive fan of their Grillmates line. Um, I use Montreal steak seasoning and some other uh, grill seasonings that they use. They have a, like a brown sugar, sugar and bourbon that's pretty cool. So, uh, reputable uh, company putting this out. I think let's just check it out, huh? So I, I'm not going to go small on this one. I'm already seeing some seasoning flakes sort of coming out. And before I do my reaction here, I want to I want to say my first thought was, why wouldn't you just get some Frank's Red Hot, get some Old Bay, get some butter, and you have it. Um, but maybe there's more to it than this. You can definitely smell the Old Bay. It definitely smells like it's going to have some heat. There's a lot of Old Bay and not a ton of heat. Well, the Old Bay really comes through. Really interesting. It has more body than I thought it would gonna, was going to have. I thought it was going to be sort of thin, um, kind of like a, a cheaper hot sauce, something like that. But <clears throat> it's got some heat to it and you can really, really taste that Old Bay. Actually, I'm, I'm sort of surprised and pretty impressed with it um, just because it, it's Got a lot more depth of flavor than I was assuming, and it's uh, pretty true to the uh, uh, the Old Bay seasoning here. So let's shake a little on the cracker here, shall we? And um, I'm not sure what this test is going to prove other than give me another chance to try it. Now, the buttery cracker also goes well with Old Bay. Butter, seafood, Old Bay, they all sort of go together. Plus you have that heat in there. So also a winner there. And um, just see what happens just for fun and just so I can, you know, stay the pizza guy here. Uh, we'll throw some Old Bay on this and we're really going to lay it on there. Hmm? Make it a mess. Now that... I like it. I like it. Um, okay, so here was my thought. I thought to make Old Bay wings, I would need a stick of butter to add to this, but I think I would actually just toss wings or boneless bites or popcorn shrimp right into this, unless you don't like it super hot, uh, which it is not super hot. I would call this a comfortable medium, not a, not a, maybe a little more than a mild. Um, but, uh, very impressed with this. Maybe it's just because I'm obsessed with Old Bay. Maybe it's not a game changer, but it's certainly a common sense combination. You know, Doritos Locos came out and, you know, they were, they were very popular. I, I mean, they sort of went together and these two things, they go together. Um, so I'm going to give it two thumbs up and say, go out and give it a try. And I have to think there's a reason why it sold out online very quickly. I think in a day or something like that. Um, I was in the, the one supermarket I saw it yesterday, went back today after my buddy recommended it to me and it was totally sold out there. So, uh, I bought three bottles, just not, I don't want to endanger myself of running out. So I got three bottles. And uh, I'm going to try it on some more stuff. I'm going to maybe fry up some wings this week, give it a try on that, and see what it's all about. But um, I think I'm going to toss them directly in this. So, guys, if you've tried the new Old Bay sauce, tell me about it. Uh, interested in your opinion. I'm pretty impressed with it.
better than expected and uh i think i'm gonna use this product and hopefully it's not just a well it says limited edition but hopefully it's around a little bit longer um although i'm not sure it's gonna be too too hard to throw some old bay in some frank's red hot sauce and maybe add some butter so either way uh not the most revolutionary product in the world but certainly a delicious one and um one that you know i'm happy with the buy so thumbs up let me know your thoughts in the comment below don't forget to like and subscribe a lot more taste tests comes coming up guys uh also check out my uh pizza reviews and epa pizza review.com and the youtube channel uh, where I'll have a ton of stuff coming out in the coming weeks, months, and years. So take care, guys.